Hello Harvest Kids, good to see you back after a little break. Um, hope you enjoyed your Christmas and Happy New Year to you all. Um, we are starting to look again at stories from the Bible and today we're going to look at a story about King Solomon. So we'll start with Susan who's going to share our story for the younger ones. Enjoy! Hi boys and girls, it's Susan here. I hope you're all well and I hope you had a really, really good Christmas. Today we're going to do a story and this story is from the book of Kings in the Bible, in the Old Testament and it is called Solomon Builds a Temple. King Solomon began building a temple for God. God said to Solomon, if you obey me, I will keep my promise to live with my people. Solomon used many workers to build the temple and they did a good job. It took seven years to build the temple and it was beautiful. When it was time to bring the Ark of God into the temple, the people praised God. Solomon said, There is no one like you, God. When we pray to you and bring gifts to you, hear and forgive us. Solomon told the people, Love God and obey him with your whole heart. Isn't that a great story? It tells us that God is amazing. It tells us that God knows everything. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks, Susan. Now we're going to look at a video of the same story for the older ones. Solomon was the king of Israel after his father, David, died. God made Solomon very wise. Solomon began to build a temple for the Lord. Solomon ordered thousands of workers to help build the temple. They cut cedar logs and stone blocks. They laid a foundation and built the outside of the temple. God blessed the temple and promised Solomon, if you obey my commands, I will keep the promise I made to David. I will live among the Israelites and I will not abandon my people. The temple was built in seven years. It was beautiful. The cedar paneling inside the temple was carved with ornamental gourds and flower blossoms. Solomon overlaid everything inside the temple with pure gold. He hired men to make bronze furnishings for the temple, such as bronze bowls for holding water. When the temple was complete, Solomon moved the Ark of God from its place on Mount Zion to the new temple in Jerusalem. Solomon gathered the leaders of Israel. As the priests moved the Ark to the most holy place in the temple, King Solomon and the leaders sacrificed sheep and cattle to the Lord. When the priests came out of the temple, a cloud filled the temple. God's glory was in the cloud. Solomon turned to speak to the Israelites. Praise God, he said. God promised David that his son would build a temple. God kept his promise. Solomon stood and prayed with his hands spread out toward heaven. There is no God like you, he said. Then Solomon thought about the future. He knew Israel would sin and make God angry again. So Solomon asked for forgiveness and he asked God to hear their prayers. When Solomon had finished praying, he encouraged the Israelites to love and obey God. The people returned to their homes joyful because God was good to them. The temple was a place where God was good with his people. The people could go there to make sacrifices and worship God. Today, when we trust in Jesus, He is with us wherever we go. We can look to Him for forgiveness and help.
Isn't it great how we see through this story that God keeps his promises? God had promised David, Solomon's father, that his son would build a temple. And here Solomon is building a temple to the Lord. And we've seen that through lots of stories. God's promises to Abraham, he kept. God promises to Isaac, he kept. Um, and we also remember from this story that God is with us wherever we go. God um, was with the Israelites and when they built the temple. And at the moment, we can't be together in church. We can't be together as a church family. But God is with us where we are, whatever we're doing. And we can call on him and pray to him and talk to him because he hears us at home as much as he hears us at church. So we pray for you in this week because we know that it will be a January at, at school at home, not at school at school. So we pray for you, remembering you all the time and praying that you would know that God is with you, that you'd be with your families, with your parents and whoever's looking after you as well, whether that be at home or whether you get to go into school, um, that God would be with you. So let's pray um, 